The Watchers is the newest horror movie from M. Night Shyamalan's daughter. Welcome back to Movie Health Community, the internet's number one source of health warnings at the movies. We're here talking about The Watchers today. We'll get to a review of the movie in just a minute, but first let's talk about if this movie is safe for photosensitive audiences. The answer is... Yes, almost all of The Watchers is safe for photosensitive audiences. There's some brief, mild strobe effects but these can be warned about. First one happens when somebody is driving a vehicle. The lights on the dashboard and the lights on this person's cell phone have a glitching effect as they flicker out. This is about two minutes into an early driving scene. There's a scene where somebody explores a dark environment, lighting it up with a cigarette lighter, and the lighting associated with that scene has a soft flicker to it. Finally, in a scene where the group of main characters gets reunited and finds a different mode of escape, there are some flickering lights as their plan unfolds and as they enter a new environment. For flashing lights, we are giving the watchers a three out of 10. In terms of, in terms of mental health, obviously there are some jump scares in this movie. This is a horror movie. Okay, I've got a problem here. <laughs> I wrote down something that says suicide flashback, which I actually can't remember what I wrote that down for, but Let's put a warning in this movie that during a flashback scene, there is a topic of suicide. Now, is this movie any good? I would say yeah. I get pretty picky when it comes to my horror movies, and this one was not terrible. One of the biggest praises I have for this movie is the creative scares. Coming from the daughter of M. Night Shyamalan, I'm not surprised that they're creative scares, but I was really impressed by the ones we had in this. Sure, there were some moments where there were sudden stings of music or loud sound effects, but the best scares were actually the quieter ones when things that should be there were not there. These quiet moments just leave us feeling a sense of dread. That was very effective in pulling the audience into this movie. One of the big things that impressed me here was that out of the four main cast members, the one with the most energy is the one who is the oldest by a significant margin. This movie did a good job tackling the fear of the unknown, taking us on a journey as blind as it can into this world that we know nothing about. And the way that this unfolds, for the most part, really works. Where it does not work is in the dialogue. Some of the expositional dialogue is a little bit sloppy, and there is quite a bit of it in this movie. There are just some phrasing choices that could have used some polishing. Uh, just some moments where it felt like they were trying to cram in as many words as possible. Some moments where my dog is rubbing himself against the couch and making noise. The score for this movie was really good. Definitely one of the best of the year. I'm not going to say it's the best, but it's one of the best especially if you stick around during the stylized portion of the end credits, you're gonna hear some excellent orchestral work. Now there's a point where it feels like this movie is ending, but then it turns out there's a whole extra act to this movie. Kind of like in Speed, where Speed does not end when the bus explodes. There's still more action and more story to be told after the bus explodes. Obviously, different genres, I can't compare the two, but Speed does a better job keeping you hooked even after the main hook of the movie is over. And The Watchers does not do that as effectively as it goes through its final expositions and twists. It's giving us the rest of the story for the sake of completing it rather than giving us a hook to keep us in beyond the hook of the original story that had ended by this point. So after this certain point, it just feels like the movie drags. Even though it explains a lot and helps recontextualize some of the rest of the movie, it just feels like this last part goes on a little too long. I better look up if this is a directorial debut because as a directorial debut, this works. Okay, yes, this is Ishana Knight Shyamalan's feature directorial debut. As a feature debut, this is 
excellent. This is something that Ishana Knight Shyamalan should be very proud of, and I hope this gets her more work as a writer and director. I am going to give The Watchers a B. Thank you so much to our readers on Tumblr and Facebook, and as always, an extra special thanks to our patrons over on our Patreon page, whose names are scrolling on the screen like credits right now. As a reminder, nothing produced by Movie Health Community is medical advice, nor has any of it ever been reviewed by any medical professionals. Be sure to leave a like on this video, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon if you want to be notified when we post new videos, and leave a comment down below if you have anything to add to this discourse, especially if you disagree with anything I've said. We love hearing from you. And as always, stay safe at the movies.